Hi, I just want to make a quick video for you about your keywords. Okay, I'm here in the Google AdWords traffic estimator. Okay, and basically I've entered in these keywords here that you see, uh, right there, and I've I've put in you know the Los Angeles area and some nearby uh, cities. Okay, and so basically this data is telling us how much traffic you would get for a Google ad. This is not how much traffic you would get total if you were on the front page of Google, but the ads get about 35% of the clicks. Okay, so how many, uh, how much traffic you would get on the ads uh, for these keywords here in the Los Angeles region? It says the daily estimate is about 68 to 83 clicks. This is not just in Los Angeles, but the surrounding areas as well. Uh, the total impressions your ad would get would be about a thousand. And the total cost per day for these uh, for these 68 to 83 clicks would be about $400. Now, these are the highest. Um, the reason why I did this, I just want to find out. I'm not sure exactly what you want to advertise uh, yet on AdWords, but I'm figuring. I'm just assuming right now that something about uh, surgery. And so, the number one, uh, as you could see, the clicks here, the number one uh, keywords that are getting the highest number of clicks uh, and, and impressions if we just look at the impressions LASIK surgery eye surgery and cataract surgery after that eye surgeon okay is getting a lot of clicks then cataract uh, cataract surgeon is not getting very many glaucoma surgery is not getting very many uh, so basically eye surgery eye surgeon in terms of the surgeon category keywords eye surgeon is getting the 39 of these impressions which uh, even though it's a low number of impressions compared to eye surgery you have to understand that the conversion on this keyword uh, would probably be a lot higher than the conversion on eye surgery because this someone who types in eye surgeon is in a different mental state he is actually looking for a surgeon someone you know, uh, clicking or typing in eye surgery, he may not be looking for a surgeon right now. Uh, a lot of the people typing that in may be people just looking for information about eye surgery. So even though this is a lower number, uh, we shouldn't be discouraged by the lower number because the conversions, which is what counts in the end, uh, will be higher. Okay, but you would probably want to advertise on uh, both of these keywords and probably on this keyword and these and this so uh, uh, I just want to show you the, some of the keywords now what I want to do is show you uh, something else about these keywords now uh, one thing though I need to mention that this is not you could actually uh, this is not the only no keywords we could go for there's a lot more I haven't expanded this list this is just a preliminary list of uh, probably the main keywords there's a lot more keywords that we could dig up than this but this is just a starter uh, just to take a look at the surface level of things so I've taken eye surgeon okay uh, and I've put it into uh, my keyword uh, one of my keyword tools here uh, eye surgeon Los Angeles is actually the keyword that I've typed in here and uh, what we see here is some data okay about uh, this keyword now we see that the average page rank is 2.9 okay uh, what this is telling this is giving us some of the SEO data on this keyword basically it's gonna tell us how easy if we want free traffic now if we do SEO how easy it would be for us to rank and what we need to do to rank for this keyword so they're saying that the average number of page links these are backlinks in order to rank in SEO the primary way uh, the primary way that uh, your rate your site goes up the rankings is by getting backlinks from other sites pointing to your site Google basically looks at, at these backlinks as a vote for your site it's like if a thousand sites are putting their link to your site on their site Google saying a thousand sites are like voting for your site so what you want to do is grab high quality backlinks uh, notice how I said high quality because it's not just about the number of links but it's about the quality of links too okay but basically uh, what we see here is this is the top 10 results on this uh, on the top 10 results on the uh, keyword uh, on which keyword I search in Los Angeles now if we look at this your number one your number one competitor 
has a PageRank 3 site, which is basically a rank that Google gives. Google gives ranks to every uh, uh, page ranks to every web page. I, I believe I looked at your site; it had a page rank two. Okay, so uh, if I remember correctly, I believe it was a page rank two for your site. But anyway, the top one's got a page rank three. Uh, that's not the only thing that causes it to rank. You notice it's ranking above a page rank five site. There's other, there's see, there's other, uh, there's other factors, of course. I, I don't want to get into a whole SEO course here, uh, but if you want explanation, I could explain later. But anyway, I just want to give you an idea of what's going on in the in the uh, in the natural results because I really think you should also try and target the natural results. I noticed uh, you weren't really ranking well. Uh, for free traffic. Google AdWords is great and you should do Google AdWords but I don't think you should ignore SEO and natural free results as well because if you look at that uh, if you look at your ad costs that's four hundred dollars a day now imagine getting that traffic for free right and in addition to that you could still pay for that and get two spots an advertising spot and a free spot what I said remember before about thirty percent maybe of uh, people who search actually click on the ads. The other 70%, uh, so the other, this only represents maybe 30% of the, the people clicking. The other 70% of the people clicking are not clicking on the ads, they're clicking on these natural results. The other thing about natural results is it gives you an automatic authority. Uh, people feel that you, you, you're an authority when Google has chosen you themselves to rank you. Okay, so we see that the first uh, the first website here ranking surround surround vision uh, dot com has two thousand links from one hundred and sixty one domains. Okay, so uh, these are the uh, their top keywords that they're trying to get their site ranked for. They're trying to get their site ranked for Santa Monica Lassic, Los Angeles Lassic Eye Surgeon, Lassic Eye Surgery Loss, Los Angeles. Beverly Hills LASIK eye surgeon. This is useful because what we could do is we could take a look at some high competitors. People, I haven't taken a look how long these guys have been in the game, but uh, if we could explore this a little bit more, we could find out what are who are the top competitors. Assuming this number one guy is a top competitor or this guy is a top competitor and he knows what he's doing, we could actually take advantage of what websites they're ta targeting because if they're doing things right or web, sorry, what keywords they're targeting because if they're if they were if they're doing things right then they're going to be targeting keywords which are getting them results and basically what our strategy would be is to take the keywords they're targeting but do a better job and beat them in the rankings so what I want to do now is uh, basically what I want to do now is show you and take a look at what keywords your site is relevant for in terms of Google's opinion. So I'm going to just take your URL. This is how I do that. I take the URL. I'm going to go to the Google AdWord tool. And we're going to paste your URL in the Google Keyword AdWord tool. Okay? And we're going to take a look at the keywords that Google returns. These keywords are basically what Google's spiders have decided that your your uh, your site is about. So Google believes your site is about laser eye surgery. See, this is important because we want to get Google's opinion, not our own opinion, but Google's opinion. Uh, uh, because if Google, if we want a to bid on a term that Google does not believe your site is relevant for, like I said, you're going to have to pay what we call the stupid tax. Or basically what it means is you're gonna have to pay more for those ads now that doesn't mean you can't advertise on those ads you can you're paying more which you may think it's still okay but the other problem with that is is you're also not gonna get as much of an ad impression meaning your ads not gonna show up as much uh, because you have to realize you are not you are the advertisers are not Google's customers Google's real customers are the people searching so they want to produce the best results for the people searching. So if they believe your website is not about the keyword that the person searched for, 
they don't want to show your ad in the first place because that may upset people imagine somebody typing for example an extreme case eye surgery and an ad for plastic surgery or let, let's say laser eye surgery and an ad for plastic surgery comes up now obviously the person who typed clicked on that ad and they saw that this is a site for plastic surgery isn't going to be very happy so Google wants to keep the results as relevant as possible for their customers which are not the advertisers by the way their customers are the people searching and so we want to look at the keywords which Google has decided your websites about if we want to advertise on a keyword which Google has decided that your website is not about what we will do is make Google decide that your websites about this keyword by different uh, strategies we have so these are the different keywords eye surgeons they're good right so Google is uh, these are the keywords which Google has decided your your uh, website is relevant for so these keywords would probably be fair keywords to target okay uh, so anyway I just want to show you that uh, let's see what else we got there okay so you could do that yourself if you want to look at this in more detail uh, I want to show you something else uh, basically all you have to do is put your 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 web page or website in the Google Keyword AdWord tool and Google will return to you uh, Google will return to you the uh, keywords that are relevant for this site of course in their opinion okay so going back to the tool I wanted I, I ran a report on the number one competitor for eye surgeon uh, Los Angeles and uh, I, I want you to see basically what they're doing basically we could find out what they're doing how did they get this ranking what are they doing now these are the different anchor texts that they're targeting with different backlinks okay so Los Angeles Elastic these are uh, they've used this anchor text 50 times what are anchor texts basically these are hyperlinks from other sites pointing to their site the hyperlink has a text like for example click here well it's better to instead of using the words click here is better than that is to actually use the keyword you want your site to rank for so if you want your site to rank for Los Angeles Elastic you would put uh, or you would have the person who's put the link on their site link to your site with the keyword Los Angeles Elastic this is SEO I'm sorry if I'm getting a little bit too deep and confusing you I hope that I'm not I'm not but I just wanted to show you this who so what this is doing is now I'm showing you where did they get their links from these are all the different sites that they're getting their links from and this is what's producing for a m large part their rankings they've got uh, a link a backlink from javanin.com which is a page rank 4 link they got a backlink from 2p.co.kr uh, wearemyhair.com they got a backlink for these uh, keywords right and so on and so forth and I if you like I could actually uh, attach this report for you I could I could send it to you okay so basically uh, I just want to show you where you are at with your keywords and uh, what keywords and uh, what the costs are for those keywords if those are the keywords you're actually thinking about uh, again those aren't the only keywords and the number of clicks we were looking at there in the Google AdWords tool was representative of the search network uh, if we targeted the content or display network uh, then we could all obviously expand from that if you like what I'll do is that report on the number one competitor for I search in Los Angeles I'm going to download it as a CSV uh, so you could have all his information basically this tells you exactly where he's getting his links right you have all that information uh, available for you this is just one of the tools that I use there's a number of tools that I do use to do my analysis of course the Google AdWords tool uh, I use majestic SEO I use uh, market samurai I use many 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 different uh, uh, tools